So guys, what is up? It is your boy Brzezaden Flex here and welcome back to Bound by Flame. So, in the last episode we were introduced to the game of Bound by Flame. Uh, we found out that we are a mercenary here, Vulcan, and um, we found out that we have been possessed by a flame demon and now have the power of fire. So, very very cool so far. We are now here in the Swamplands. We're heading off to the town of Valvanor, if I remember right, and we have our friend Sybil here who helped us out quite a bit in the last episode fighting off the dead walkers um we have a new level available so i want to check that out before we go into anything okay so we do have two skill points we now have the pyromancer class that we can check out so we have orb of fire burning weapon guardian flames which we haven't seen before and fire wave so sends out a heat of wave that repels enemies Causes 10 fire damage. Invokes 3 protective flames for 15 seconds. Each blow taken makes a flame disappear. Okay. So I do want to power up our flame powers. Our pyromancer skills. Because they actually help us quite a bit. So. Oh, excuse me. So we could upgrade orb of fire. But I think I'm going to upgrade burning weapon. Because we do use that a little bit more. Spells cast instantaneously. So we're going to get that next. Which means like before he puts his hands up in the air to actually cast the fire. This time it'll just activate right away. So we are going to do that. Um, we're going to talk to Sybil. Sybil, can I talk to you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Great. I have some questions for you. What do you want to know? Vulcan's voice sounds deeper now too. Are you Elois's daughter? So Alos is your father. Alos, that's how you say that name. And yes, he is the leader of the Red Scribes. Okay. That's handy for you. You are so predictable. Daddy's little girl can do whatever she wants, right? Don't fool yourself. When is that ever the case? Daddy's little girl usually can't do anything because her dad is protective. My father doesn't treat me better than the others, and I expect no less from him. If anything, he probably treats you worse. You look like you just stepped out of a library. I guess he encourages you? Yes, of course. But I'm big enough to make my own choices. Knowledge fascinates me. Okay, we're just going to skip ahead of that a bit um, just to see what you guys want to see. I know this will get quite boring doing this, so can you tell me more about your order? Of course. The Red Scribes are an order of sages. Our quest is to find the answers to all the great mysteries. So okay, so this is like a basic thing of what they do. I'll leave this, I'll leave each sentence on for a certain amount of time so you guys can pause the video and read it in your own time. Just so then the video doesn't go on forever and ever, amen. Oh, really? Uh, do you know what happened in the temple? That's actually an interesting point. still searching for an explanation. Something must have gone wrong during the ritual. You think? What was the god's damned ritual supposed to do? The Red Scribes have always had quite limited magical skills. Clearly. I believe that the ritual was meant to increase their magical powers to try and find a way of combating the Ice Lords. Instead, they summoned a demon. Instead of channeling pure energy into each of the scribes, the ritual called forth a conscience that settled in you. Your father yep. called it a demon. How come I got stuck with it? A demon? That reminds me of the old text. But I couldn't say if that's what it is. Well, that's just great. What do I do now? I would dearly like to help you. Okay, thank you. But even though I have searched through all the texts I have here, I can find no reference to anything like this experience of yours, at least for now. But until we have found out more, you must try to fight against this thing. Clearly. Do not allow it to get comfortable. We don't know what its intentions are or how powerful it is. It could be dangerous for you. Sure thing. What do you know about the Outlords? Tell me what you've observed from the creatures of the swamp. Yeah. From the study of all these creatures of the swamp. Well, I'd really like to meet some of these creatures who... But for now... Okay, so yeah, now we actually gotta meet them. Okay, that's enough talking to Sybil for now. Um, So let's head off into the forest now. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, lordy. Okay. Oh, bugs are strong. Okay. Uh, Let's get our fire enhanced. Oh, okay. Let's not do that. Oh, Jesus, what the hell? They're behind us, too. They're attacking Sybil. Back off. Find your own girl. Well, she's not our girl, but uh, never mind. Just die, please. Die, 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 die. Let's use an assault on him. There we go. Whew. Oh, yeah, Sybil can heal us as well. Uh-oh. Oh, more of them. How many of these bastards are there? Okay, die, 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 please. Die, 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 die. I'm not even blocking or dodging or, any tr or trying to do anything like that. I'm so flustered. 
Oh, jeez, we leveled up again already? That was fast. Okay. Drive back to hostile creatures. A thousand experience. Oh, Sybil completely heals us, too. Okay, that's cool. Let's see. Tainted blood. Okay. Some more tainted blood. Some more... Probably some more tainted blood. Okay, let's get healed completely by Sybil. There we go. Thank you, dearly. Now, we got a new level. So, we're going to enhance our pyro... Oh, no. Ranger. We're going to enhance our pyromancer skill. There we go. So, now we'll instantly get on fire and we, he won't, like, waste time raising his hand. Oh. Uh, oh, what's this? Concentration. Interruption. Resist plus 10 when casting a spell. Okay. Um, what else should we do? What's this? Oh, multiple orbs of fire if we enhance that enough. Okay, now we're going to head back over to the ranger stance. Because we're going to increase the critical hit chance of daggers. And then we can do it again. Chance of critical hit of the daggers when attacking from behind. Okay. So the next time we'll enhance our pyromancer skill. We'll get the orbs. Because then we can enhance our fire attack too. Now we're going to get... Hmm... Passion. You earn even more experience. Okay, yeah, we're going to get that one right away. Uh, okay, we used up all our points on Passionate, so now we'll get even more experience when killing enemies. Which is good. So, the reason I'm enhancing experience right away and not health and magic is because if I increase experience... Okay, yes, thank you for that in incredible insight. You interrupted me, but uh, the reason I'm increasing experience so much is because if I increase experience right off the hop, then I can just get them right away quicker. How do I... There we go, sneak attack. Did I get him? Oh, I did. Okay, I thought I missed for a second. Even though he was point blank. Oh, okay, let's not do that. Get him! There we go. This ranger stance is incredibly OP now. Let's see what we got there. Raw metal, okay, not too bad. Um, now I'm not exactly sure which way I'm supposed to go. I'm guessing we just go towards the yellow arrow. So I'm not going to do that. We're going to explore for a little bit because I want to check out what is in this swamp. Well, it's not, but just stay quiet for now, please. Refined metal and leather. Okay. Climb down again. Yeah, using stealth. Okay. So let's see if we can't sneak up on one of these guys. Okay. Nice and okay. Never mind. Not gonna bother sneaking up on him now. There we go. That fire attack is way better. What the hell are those things? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. How do I. Okay, there we go. Jesus. That was. Oh, Jesus H. Christ. There we go. Okay. Bad bugs. Okay, so those little. So that little sack that I blew up shoots like needles. And it. Oh my god. It does a lot of damage. Okay, get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, please just die. Please just die. Hit him with a fire orb. That was my crossbow. How do I use... Oh, triangle. Okay, there we go. That did, like, little to no damage. Oh, she's got a block attack. Okay. I'm learning things about Sybil's stance because she can actually help me quite a bit. Yes, heal me, please. Oh, lordy poop. Just die, please. These bugs are actually kind of fucking annoying because they're so strong. Oh, my God. We leveled up again? Get him. Get him. Get him. Down you go. Thank you. Okay, Sybil's gonna heal us. In the meantime, let's see what we got here. Leather and Tainted Blood. So that's all those guys drop. This is to another area. We're not gonna do that just yet because obviously that leads to a storyline thing. So let's see. More leather. Probably some more Tainted Blood from those sacks. Yeah, just leather. Okay. Um, okay, let's level up right now then. Just keep getting these level ups. Let's go. All right, now what the hell did I say I was gonna do again? Oh yeah, I was gonna upgrade my Orb of Fire. So fire damage, ability interrupt, chance of critical hit, plus 20%, damage plus 100%. Holy shit, okay, yeah. We need to get that. Do we have a feat that we can spend? Um, oh, I see. So cast 15 fire spells requires tough. Oh, but I need three points for that, okay. Can I get anything? Lucky, okay, let's get that. You have a greater chance of finding stuff on enemies. Oh, and then I got 40%. Okay. Okay, so there's like little requirements to get the feats and stuff like that. So, that's actually pretty cool. Um, okay, let's go this way. What's up this way? Sorry if I'm not saying too much. There isn't really a whole lot to say right now, though. Okay, what's in this? Oh, we got gold and bones. Okay. We haven't really met a vendor yet. Oh, no problem. Same here, I think. What did you 
people do to me anyway? Where's his power come from? Yeah, honestly. Oh, okay, at least she's being honest. What the hell are these things? They have us a lot of fucking experience. Holy. Okay, leather. More leather. And probably more leather. Can we talk to Sybil? Sybil, can I talk to you? Yes. Um, I have questions for you. What do you know about these animals now? I have discovered a few things about the small chrysalids. They are much faster, but it seems that they Okay. Can fire tiny projectiles. Leap onto their prey. Okay. So she's actually given us insight on how to beat these things. Um, what's up this way? Did we go this way? I'm so turned around now. Um, okay, we definitely didn't because there's a dead guy up here with a sword sticking out of him. Do we get the sword? Disrupting an ability to interrupt represents the physical power of your attacks. Okay, we don't really have to use that. Oh, a slicer. Crossbow bolts, tainted blood, bones. Okay, we gotta check out that slicer thing. Why do I get the feeling? Yeah, it is an axe. Ability to interrupt, chance to hit. Lowers attack speed, though. See, we don't really use the swords, though. Or the axes. Like, I really just use this. Wait, did I not upgrade this fully? We don't have guards on these. Physical damage, ability to interrupt. Physical damage to stealth. No, like I said, we're just going straight power right now. Okay. Um, that's just a spare crossbow. I don't have anyone. Oh, I can upgrade the breastplate too? Oh! Okay. Resistance to poison, trap damage. Oh, so that's a trophy. Tacits. We can get chrysalid tacits, resistant to poison. We need tainted bones. Or we can get this one right now. Tacit to the griffin. But this is just our military breastplate. Spalders, which increase our rating. Health regeneration and interruption resist. That looks. Look at those freaking things! It's like giant wolves! Okay, so we're not gonna upgrade this armor because obviously we can get better armor than this. So we're not gonna waste our materials to build up this stuff when we're just gonna get better stuff in the future. Oh, what the hell is this thing? What is it? Oh, oh, it's not friendly! That's what it is! Oh, jeez, Sybil has, like, a lightning attack. Okay, get him. Oh, no damage being dealt. Okay. Fire? Ah, I see. So these fuckers are weak against fire. Okay, so those things, extremely strong. Um, but extremely weak to fire as well. Tainted bones. Okay, we could make the, uh, the chrysalid armor if we wanted to. Okay, let's hear from Sybil about that, uh, that other thing. So Okay, so she didn't really have anything to say on that one. Ah, oh, beep it beep beep bee, moving right along. This swamp is horrible, by the way. Like just all sorts of creepy crawlies and disgusting things. What? 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 What do you see? Oh, okay, it's just this guy. Me? Okay, not good. Not good. Oh, there's lots of them. Okay, fire. Time for fire to kick up. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. <laughs> Down you go. Say good night. Just die, please. Sorry you heard my phone pinging. Like I said, very unprofessional to do that. I forget to put it on silent all the time. Jesus, Sybil, calm down, man. She's going off like a bomb. Okay, lots of gear. Okay, I'm just going to check what my phone was pinging about, so I'll be back in two seconds. Alright guys, I am back and I just found out that I'm a bit of a fucking idiot because I was here in my feet section because um, we're close to leveling up and I realized that there's three different sections. There's exploration, there's combat, and then there's crafting. So yeah, I'm a bit of an idiot because I didn't see that. So there's things like I can upgrade how I handle my daggers, how I handle axes, um, I use less magic when casting fire spells. I handle crossbows better, traps, there's crafting section, like there's a huge lot of these things, but um, we're going to stick to the exploration one for now because I want to upgrade my health, my magic, everything like that. Um, the next one I want to get is snooper because you get 40% chance of better finding better items and more stuff like that. So yeah, so what the hell were we doing again? Oh yeah, we just fought off an ambush from a bunch of those 
creepy crawly bastards here in the swamp. So we're going to continue going down this way, even though I have no idea where we're going. Um, yeah, like I said, there's not really a whole lot to say on this because I don't know where I'm going. Wait, what, 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 what? Oh, 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 these things again. Okay, shoot them. Never mind, don't shoot them. Hit them. Oh my god, these things are actually kind of annoying. Ow, ow, ow. Hit them with a fireball. There we go. Hopefully, like, I can just shoot a fireball, like, really quickly. And he doesn't take all that time to... Because when you... What you don't realize in this game is when you take time to do that stuff, the enemy can just hit you and disrupt it. So, that's why I upgraded my fire so quickly. So that when I charge up, it's just right away and he doesn't take time like that. Okay, let's see where we're going. Oh, lord. Why are there so many? Recovering magic. Oh, one... Oh, when I'm out of mana. Okay. Oh, we got mana potions too. Okay. Okay, well, we'll upgrade. We'll get our mana back. Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh, God. He's hitting me. Okay. Oh, I know where we are. We were just up on that balcony over there. I'll show you after. Once I'm done slicing and dicing. Ouch. Okay. Taking some damage. Sybil! Sybil, can you help me, please? I'm, I'm kind of getting munched here. Yes. Focus on Sybil. Oh, I sound like such a scumbag saying that. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's bad. That that's that's not nice. Oh god. Okay, hide behind the tree. Okay, just kind of juke him for a second. Yeah, these guys do shoot shit at you. Okay, hit him with a fireball. Now get him. Ow. Okay, I have to. Oh god. Okay. Oh lord. Okay, it's almost a necessity that you have to have fire equipped when dealing with these guys because they're actually stupidly tough. Oh, I leveled up again. Just leveling up so fast. Um, but yeah, it's almost a necessity that I have to have fire equipped when dealing with these guys. So yeah, we were just up here, running around up there. Okay, let's level up. Um, oh, well, what am I doing? Okay, there we go. Okay, now we could get health. Oh, we don't have enough for Snooper yet. Finder, near, nearby chests give off a sound. Hmm. Okay, you know what? We'll save that. We're going to get tough. Because we need some more health here. 20%. Okay, yeah. Um, Because we're going to need to start dealing... We're going to need more health because these guys actually do deal quite a bit of damage. Um, beep, 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 dee. All right. Skills. Okay. Um, Upgrade fire. There we go. Okay, now we can do the... Conflict. Chance of setting an... On, blah, blah, blah. Chance of setting an enemy on fire with orb of fire or burning weapon. Okay, and we need to have an expert rank. Um... Since two more orbs of fire. Okay, let's get that. Because that could actually help quite a bit with dealing with waves of enemies. Influx of the world heart. Magic regeneration. Additional magic regeneration. Okay, so that's just got to do with magic regeneration. I might start upgrading guardian flame. Just because then I've got like an extra sort of thing to guard against me with. That was in English, but... <laughs> Look, English is a hard language, okay? <laughs> Intense heat. Okay, so that's for the, uh, the fire wave technique. So yeah, we'll save up some of our points for now. We've upgraded completely. Where's this way go? I have no idea, but I don't really want to go that way. What's in the stump? Golden bones. Okay. So now let's head over to our actual objective. I think we've dicked around in the swamp enough. Come on, Sybil. Wait, let's talk to her. Has she given us anything new? Sybil, can I talk to you? Yes. I'd like... You Probably not, but... What do you know about the Oslords? Lords? Let's ask. As much as it is possible to know without having met them. In some ways, they're quite fascinating. Oh yeah, fascinating. It's Want to take over the world. Perfect. How do we kill him? How do we kill him? <laughs> if I knew that, do you think I would keep it to myself? We, we do believe it's possible. Black Storm, Lady Crystal, Marshall Winters, the, the White Lady, Lord Blackfrost, the Chiller, and the Ice Duchess. Wow. Everybody knows that. We've had our asses kicked by them enough. For sure. But in the past, there were more of them. Some scrolls talk of nine or a dozen, even of thirty lords. Holy shit. And I know they would have freely given the information of how to kill one of them. But you can bet that some of them have died. We just have to discover how. Uh, where are they from? Where do they most people believe that the lords appeared recently, at the, but I have found certain scrolls that lead me to believe they have been around Jesus. for 300 years. 
They are originally from a region far to the north of Fairhill. The beginning of their conquest is quite recent. Okay, like I said, I'll keep the sentence up just so you guys can pause the video. I think you can read this for yourself. I'm sorry, but dwarves? Save it for the children. But you're wrong. The dwarves did exist. Oh. The ice lords exterminated them. Right. And I bet they also massacred all those poor dragons and goblins. You know that dragons and goblins don't exist? You're impossible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, that's actually pretty funny. Um, so the funny thing about that is, is that they're saying that the whole thing about dwarves is impossible and the... Vulcan. Oh, okay. Look, all us freeborn blades have a nickname. We leave the past behind and whatever we were before doesn't matter in the company. So what do you do now then? Eh, you know, I blow things up. Stuff like that. Okay. Um, but the fact that they're against the existence of dwarves, but then they'll say, like, dragons are impossible, and so are goblins. What the hell? Oh, just Look at this guy! He's slapping these things. Atabai. Holy! Oh, he's outmatched, though. There's too many of them. Hey, this guy's fucking fearless. <laughs> yeah, no Let's shit. Before it goes bad for it. Let's take these bitches out. Oh, Lord. Again, with you guys spitting at me. I'm sick and fucking tired of you guys. Get him. Get him. Ow. Okay, I'm... Oh, my God. Okay, I've taken a lot more damage than I thought. Oh, my God. My I got a pounding heart thing right now. Please just get him. Please just get him. Ooh, okay, yeah, I saw that coming. I was locked on to the wrong guy. Ugh. But yeah, the funny thing is, is that they're meant... Oh, okay, Jesus, right back into it? Okay, get him, get him, get him. Just, you die first. Okay, lock on to the right guy, will ya? There you go. Trying to attack the guys from behind. There we go. Ow, fucking little one. Okay, we need some new armor or something, because this is not working out. Get him. Down you go. Did I level up again? Despite his determination, Knight was in an awkward position. He thanks the mercenary for having assisted him in his task. Great. He talks about himself in the third person. That he hears around the village. He has before him one called Falcon. He has the pleasure of welcoming the mercenary. Oh, this is going to get annoying. And you are? The Knight is called Randall. Last survivor of the Order of the Amber Knights. Oh. Now protector of Falvin, this village. The new arrival is most welcome. But this stupid. Okay. Level up again. 2,000 experience. Holy shit. Okay. What's in there? Golden gemstones. Okay, let's level up before we go in there. Um, Do we upgrade ranger stance? Or do we upgrade fire? Chance of poisoning with daggers. Poison enemies do... Minus 15%. Ooh. Hmm. Ability to interrupt of assault. 40% damage of assault. Okay, you know what? We're going to go fire damage. Upgrade the mul uh, the multiple. From additional orbs of fire plus five. Ooh, okay. Send four more orbs of fire. Holy smokes. Okay. Oh, hang on. Forgot to do feats. There we go. Um, Can we get anything in this section? We can get energy. Let's save our points for the uh, next health upgrade. Okay, let's go into Valvanor. Whew, okay, that was a bit annoying. But yeah, if if that Ranval guy is a constant companion, I'm going to get so annoyed talking to him because he talks about himself in the third person. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just extremely weird. This is Valvanor. Well, it's, it's not, not a bad looking place. For the time being, it seems to be unknown to the dead walker. Okay. Village has known better days. Before the war, it was popular among the rich hunters who came to enjoy the ample game in the swamps. Hmm. Today, the only visitors are refugees, who are sadly too numerous for the scant resources of the village. Uh. A small healing house provides comfort and succor to the injured. The knight is quite fond of Miran, the healer who runs the place. Oh. Does the mercenary see the building opposite? was once an inn. It is now the residence of the steward, the man now in charge of the village. This is a very large inn, considering the size of the village. 
There must have been many visitors before the war. With any luck, we might get to sleep in a real bed tonight. That must be nice. Um, okay, we will talk. Okay. We'll talk to Randball after. I might just do it in my own time, just so that you guys don't have to hear like what uh what like what the talking is all about in this. If you guys want to see it, let me know. But um, most likely, I'm not gonna do it, just so we can get into the game, so we can get into the interesting stuff. Um, beep 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 beep. -bee. Oh, blacksmith. Okay, let's talk to him. Here we go. Another one of these hit refugees. Hey! There's nothing for you here. I resent that, sir. I am a hillbilly. Definitely not. I'm a mercenary. Open your eyes, Smithy. I'm one of the freeborn blades. Of course. I'm guessing you have need of my precious services. Alas, nothing that would truly put my talent and virtuosity to the test, I'd imagine. So, I don't like this guy's attitude. He needs a slap in the tits. Okay, let's see. Is this his stuff? He's got an impaler, pain, and the iron grip. Okay, so he's got very shitty weapons. Crafty, yeah. Those are the same daggers I have, pretty much. An elven quest... Grace. I can't even pronounce that word. I don't know why. Um, that's a sick-looking piece of armor. Then we have legionary's gauntlets, swordsman's boots, and a helmet! Oh, you can't upgrade helmets, really? Oh, excuse me, I don't know why my body's malfunctioning. Okay, so... We're gonna get the Elven... Carace. I can't even say that word. Please don't roast me. Okay. Gotta keep the gauntlets and everything like that. Uh, let's sell our slicer, because, let's be honest, we're never gonna use it. Um, can't really sell anything else now, can we? Could sell an exploding trap. Could sell a mana potion. Yeah, let's sell a mana potion, because we can just make a bunch more of them. What goes for a lot? Tainted gemstones go for a thousand. Tainted bones go for three hundred. Heart dust. Okay, let's not really sell anything. So we got a new breastplate, so we're going to equip that right now. Let's get to the right section first. Okay. Get rid of that breastplate. There we go. Do we get new? No, okay, so the same pauldrons. We are going to get... I kind of want the chrysalid spaulders because they give me a four, a plus four percent to my resistance. Um, nah, we're gonna get spaulders of the warlock because that just looks sick with that armor. Okay, tassets. Um, could get the chrysalid tassets one, but we need tainted bones. We're just gonna go for this one just so that we got fully upgraded armor. Can't get anything with that. We need refined steel. Or refined metal, steel, and gems. So, okay, yeah. That's good for now. Um, let's check out our gauntlets. Can we put anything? Oh, we can put elbows on them. Uh, refine, okay, so we need more refined metal if we want to actually upgrade anything. Okay. Jesus, look at us now. Armored right to the absolute tits. Okay. Um, okay, that's our mission over there. I don't want to go to the mission just yet. I want to explore. This is a pretty village. Okay. Kick that open. I think we'll do one more mission, then we'll end this episode off. Holy. You've just been in the booze, haven't you? Look at his arm piece. That looks sick. God, who are you? One of them fucking mercenaries, right? Yeah, and you're a drunken fool. Yeah, sounds about right. You know what I call your or blades? Or blades, okay. Okay, so he's he can't even say that word correctly. He's calling us or blades. You should. It might do you some good. <laughs> That's not a very nice order. Again, it's whore, not or blade. You again? I thought I made myself clear. I got no money to implore. Now fuck off. Okay. Well, you're just a dickhead, aren't you? Using your wait. We have a light. Where? Oh, it probably comes from like the fire within us. Okay. Um. Okay, let's go to the inn and check out what's going on with the captain in here. Hello, we're here. We didn't die in the swamp. <sighs> Turn records. Remember to search for your remains of your enemies. Yeah, we know. Simple hobble may have useful items. Not really. Happily, the wildlife are just as keen on attacking the dead walkers as they are the villagers. Nice. But the situation here in Valvanor grows worse daily, and each new wave of refugees increases. Listen to that soundtrack. That's sick. No, 
Ice Lord scouts who find this village will ever escape to tell the tale. Of that, I can assure you. Okay. Also, my men are reinforcing your defenses. Forgive me for saying, but you have some serious weak points. Especially the defenses around that refugee camp of yours. The arrival of the Freeborn Blades and the Red Scribes has greatly improved our chances of survival, Captain. Believe me when I say that we are most grateful to have you with us. Yay. Needless to say, your men and the Red Scribes are welcome and free to go where they will. But as for any other newcomers, our gates are closed. Yeah, it makes sense. You must understand that our food stores are as limited as our abilities to defend our village. Until you arrived, we had but one person who was even vaguely capable of treating our injured. And the case of Prince Arundel was Prince Arundel is here? And there is this beast story. Doubtless another fairy tale. The fruit of an alcohol addled brain. Nonetheless, okay, so there's a beast running around. ...is causing these disappearances. But we cannot risk sacrificing any more of the few men remaining to us on sending patrols. Hmm. Large groups entail moving chrysalids that are unmanageable. The others quite simply do not return. Yikes. Silence. The demon. If I were to listen to everyone, I would need ten times the number of men I have to verify the truth of every tale. Enough. Oh, geez, the demon took over. You must aid me to do this. I am not able to do that. Your endless railings are unbearable. Oh, geez, he's speaking through Vulcan. Vulcan? But by the gods, man, what is... This world is condemned. The cold have invaded its cold, This is so cool. Its souls and its heart. Yet here you stand, weaving your limbs like fish taken from the water, miserably shuffling about to conserve the illusion of warmth and life, and not feel the passing of your last breath. Well, I must This is scary, look at him. <laughs> Vulcan, stop this nonsense immediately. I don't think he can. It's not he who speaks. Yeah. All the fall to ruin about you. Yet you still bewail your loose bowels and vomitings. <laughs> you cannot vanquish your dead workers. No more than you can vanquish their necromancer masters. They draw their power from the very heart of the world. They drink it. They suckle it dry. Your only chance to cleanse what your own have corrupted is to go to the world heart and liberate it from its servitude. Oh. The world heart is a myth, a forgotten fairy tale, no more real than dragons or dwarves. Uh -huh. A myth. Continue hiding behind thy puny barricades, and thou wilt soon join thy myths and fairy tales. Well then, um, that was interesting. Oh, I'm awake. Okay. Have a good nap. Cease your pretense. I know you have returned to consciousness. <laughs> what the hell happened? I was just listening to the steward blabbing away with the captain and then... And then you lost control. No, I don't really have much of a choice. Head zapped me so it could use my mouth, but I was still there, still thinking what I was saying. Mm -hmm. This is not the first time you have felt this presence manifest itself. No. No, it's been there since the temple. It's also in my dreams. I think... Hmm, interesting. It would seem that your body is host to some other entity. Hmm. And it is clearly a spirit of fire. Yeah, okay. we figured that much out. Demon in my head. Something of the kind. In truth, I could not say what it is. Not yet, at least. Don't make me laugh. After all, it's your disciples that let this thing out of its cage, right? Yep. That has nothing to do with it. Do you have any idea of the impli- Um, everyone's gonna be afraid of me, whatever, it's no big deal. Means you'll leave me the hell alone, because I don't like you, Aeolus. All of which means you better not piss me off. Client or no client. Yep. Obviously, you haven't understood. The thing that is inside you, it wishes you ill. Not really. There is not enough space inside you for two souls. 
That demon wants your body. It will control you more and more until it has replaced you completely. Ha! Huh. Thou thinkest I crave the body of a mortal? I am a prisoner here. My place is in the world heart. There you go. I hesitate to lie to you, to tell you that which you wish to hear, so that you will allow it to consume you. I never asked for this cage. <laughs> I never asked to be forced to hear my every thought. It is I who have been invaded. It speaks to you? Do not listen to it. Cast it from you. Hey, take it easy. One day at a time, okay? Yeah, like, seriously. Jeez, what a... Alice is a dick. Okay. Um. Wow, a lot has happened so far. I think I'm going to leave this episode off right here. We are in the swamp or in the town of Val... Find the lair of the werebeast. Really? It's called a werebeast? Isn't it usually a werewolf in these situations? Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here. We are now in the swamp town of Valvanor. Um, not a whole lot has gone on. We're going to try and defend this town from the dead walkers, I guess. We are safe for now. Hopefully we can finally get a warm meal in our belly, some booze to drink, and a nice bed to sleep in. But anyways, guys, that's it for now. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe. It helps me a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Mountain Bike Plane. Thanks so much, and goodbye.